Creating stunning AI art starts with one thing, the perfect prompt. But what makes a prompt perfect? Today, we're diving into how to craft effective prompts in Peak Lumen to take your AI art to the next level. Whether you are an absolute beginner or just looking to refine your skills, Stick around because I'll be sharing practical tips, examples, and even a live demonstration. Before we take a look at my computer, just a few words about what I have been up to. I took a couple of weeks off, partly because I had a bad cold, but also because I've been working on a project that I will tell you more about at the end of today's video. As you can hear, my voice is still not back to normal, but we will get through today's video one way or another. So with that said, let's move over to my computer. Pic Lumen is one of the most beginner-friendly AI art tools out there, but even the best tool needs a strong prompt to create the artwork you envision. So let's get started. First things first, what is an AI prompt? Simply put, a prompt is your set of instructions to the AI. It's like describing your dream artwork to an artist, except the artist is an algorithm. Now, Peak Lumen interprets prompts differently from other tools like Midjourney. While Midjourney leans heavily into stylistic flourishes, Peak Lumen focuses on clarity and precision. This means the way you phrase your prompt can drastically change your results. An effective prompt has five key components. Let's break them down. Number one, specificity matters. Being detailed helps the AI understand your vision. For example, instead of saying a sunset, try a vibrant sunset over an ocean with pink and orange hues. See how much clearer that is? Step two, style and medium keywords. Incorporating specific art styles or mediums like oil painting, digital art or watercolor is important. For example, a fantasy landscape in the style of Studio Ghibli, digital illustration. This tells the AI exactly what aesthetic you are going for. The third ingredient in a great prompt is descriptive adjectives and composition. Rich adjectives and composition terms add depth. Think, for example, a majestic dragon soaring over snow-capped mountains, dramatic lighting, ultra-realistic. It paints a vivid picture for the AI to follow. The fourth, fourth ingredient is adding context and atmosphere. Set the mood. For instance, a lonely cabin in the dense forest during a storm, eerie and mysterious. Now the AI knows the vibe you are going for. And the fifth ingredient in this formula is avoiding overcrowding. Too many details can confuse the AI. Instead of a laundry list, focus on the most important elements. Simplicity often leads to a stronger result. Peak Lumen also have unique strengths that make it stand out. For one, it's allows for easy iteration. If your first image doesn't qu quite hit the mark, 
You can tweak your prompt and generate again without starting over. It's like having an undo button for your creativity. And Peak Lumen also provides helpful guidelines right in the tool so you, you're never left guessing. So let's take a couple of examples of good versus poor prompts. Let's look at the quick comparison. Here's a poor prompt, a landscape, pretty vague, right? And the result? Okay. Now here is an improved version, a serene mountain in landscape at sunrise, soft pastel colors, watercolor style. And here we have the result, much better. Notice how much more intentional the second image feels. A well-crafted prompt tells the AI exactly what to create and the result speaks for themselves. For those of you just starting out, here are a few quick tips. Number one, start simple. Begin with basic prompts and gradually add complexity. Number two, experiment. Try different styles and formats to see how Peak Lumen interpret your wording. Number three, use resources. Peak Lumen's tutorial page is a goldmine for inspiration. I will link it in the description. Now let's write some prompts together. We start simple. A cat. Not bad, but let's add some details. A tabby cat sitting on a window sill. Much better. Now let's refine it even further. A photorealistic tabby cat sitting on a window sill, soft sunlight streaming through. And there it is, just what I pictured. Before we wrap up, a quick note on how Peak Lumen compares to Midjourney. While Midjourney excels in complex abstract prompts, Peak Lumen is more beginner friendly, offering you a streamlined process for refining your prompt. If you're just starting out, Peak Lumen is a great place to build your skill. Let's try this with our last prompts and use their function improve prompts. And here we have the result with Peak Lumen's own improved prompt. To recap, crafting an effective prompt means being specific, using style and medium keywords, adding descriptive adjectives, setting the mood, and keeping it simple. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share your own Peak Lumen prompt tips in the comments below. And stay tuned for more Peak Lumen videos. In my next video, we will discover how to make a sketch out of a photo. So now let me tell you about my new project. I am so excited to share with you my blog, Critically Curious. It's a space where we dive into all things AI, but with a twist. Whether we're exploring how AI shapes creativity, busting myths about misinformation, or even challenging your critical thinking skills. Critically Curious is all about helping you navigate the world of AI with curiosity, a little skepticism, and a lot of fun. But here is the cool part. It's not just a blog. My podcast, AI Takeover, will work hand in hand with Critically Curious. Think of the blog as the deep dive into thought-provoking ideas, and the podcast as the conversational 
partner that brings those ideas to life. They complement each other to give you the full picture of how AI impacts our world and how we can stay smart about it. So if you are ready to explore, learn, and maybe even outsmart your AI assistant, check out Critically Curious. It will be public on January 8. And links will be in the description below, but it's really easy. You find it at Critically curious one word dot com. So let's get curious together. I hope to see you there or back here on my YouTube channel. Bye.